Hello everyone, I am Dr. Danish Salim. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic, how to remove pesticides and viruses on fruits and vegetables. Known widely for being the natural immunity boosters, the fruits and vegetables are now becoming a source of diseases owing to the presence of multiple pesticides. Viruses like Nipah, COVID has also created a mass fear against the consumption of fruits and vegetables as it is thought to be a source of spreading this deadly infection. So how can we safely consume these fruits and vegetables without the risk of these infections and pesticides? You have to know in detail. Please share this information to everyone. Let's find out more. To begin with, how damaging are these pesticides present on fruits and vegetables for your health? You, have, you must know this. Multiple evidences points to the fact that the pesticides in food are a rising cause if many chronic diseases including diabetes, cancer, neurodegenerative disorders like Parkinsonism, Alzheimer's disease, then birth defects like infertility, reproductive problem, reproductive disorders, asthma, COPD, these are the effect of pesticides. So how can we reduce the toxic effect of these pesticides while safely consuming the fruits and vegetables? A few proven technique to render the food safe is, first clean it with baking soda and water. This is very important. Soak the vegetables and fruits for 12 to 15 minutes in a solution containing 1 teaspoon of baking soda to 2 cups of water. 1 cup P is equal to 250 ml. Then rinse it off. For leafy greens, fill a medium to large sized bowl with the greens and cover with cold water and add a teaspoon of baking soda and then mix well. So let this mixture soak for around 2 minutes. Then Drain the greens and rinse off for the consumption. Clean it with the water. The second option is soaking in vinegar solution. So soak the fruits and vegetables for 20 minutes in a solution of 4 parts of water, 1 part of vinegar. For example, 10 ml of vinegar in 40 ml of water and then rinse completely. So this solution not only cleans off the pesticides, but it is also a good method to remove any harmful bacteria present on the fruits and vegetables. So next we will explain third method that is salt water soaking. Research suggests that the fruits and vegetables if it is soaked for around 20 minutes in 10% salt water that is 10 gram of salt in 100 ml of water solution gets rid of most of the toys, uh, toxins. Porous fruits like strawberry, blueberry, and plum are best cleaned with this method after soaking few minutes then they are rinsed off in cold water and ready for the use the fourth met method washing in cold water rinsing the fruits and vegetables under cold water was able to reduce the pesticide residues for 9 out of 10 pesticides according to the studies so if you do not get any other solution you can use cold water then finally, peeling method, the fruits and vegetables with tough peel are able to peel it off. Once the skin is removed, the pesticides are removed. So then rinse and wash well before peeling as it prevents the dirt on the surface from going inside while peeling. Removing the outermost layers of leafy vegetables like lettuce, cabbage are also encouraged. Then there are some general instructions while cleaning. First, wash your hands for around 20 seconds before and after cleaning the vegetables and fruits. Second, for firm vegetables and fruits like cucumber, carrot, potato, apples, after soaking in a solution as mentioned above, use a scrubbing brush to remove the pesticides that cling to the surface. Porous fruits such as berries should not be soaked in this solution for too long as it can make the fruit soggy. So it is advisable to soak only for 2-3 to three minutes and then rinse off 
completely with the help of hands so next question is do you really need to store this fruits and vegetable cleaning agents no almost majority of the research point out that the home based methods which i have explained now are effective in removing of the pesticide residues and no formal cleaning reagents are needed for this purpose as they have not shown any proven benefit in all the researches over natural cleaning methods the fruits and vegetables are ultimately the foundation of a healthy lifestyle to prolong the shelf life and appeal of the produce a lot of unwanted chemicals are being added to our daily food so we need to become more conscious in cho- uh, in the choice of food and also be aware about how to ensure we are consuming safe food that contribute to our health so understand knowledge is power choose a better life kindly share this information to everyone we will come with another good topic soon take care everyone